All right, so today we're going to be looking at the Deeper Waters mod. So what this mod does is it essentially revamps the entire void by adding a bunch of new biomes and areas that you can go and explore into the void. So there's actually going to be, you know, stuff in the void that you can actually go and look at aside from just going in there and seeing pitch blackness. All right, so here we are in the void, and this is one of the new biomes that the Deeper Waters mod adds into the void. I'm not... Whoa, 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 Mr. Warfer, you can't be teleporting in front of me like that. There's a total of six biomes that this mod adds. So it adds, it adds the Abyssal Meadow, the Abyssal Mountains, the Abyssal Pods, the Kyanite Reef, the Cyan Grove, and the Barren Fields. I don't know which one this is exactly. I don't know which one any of them are, to be honest, but we're just going to guess. Uh, mod creator, if you're watching this video, feel free to correct me. The only reason I say that is because we can see that this mod takes this mod this biome takes some inspiration from the grand reef because we can see these giant um the giant anchors that the grand reef has and its biome are in this one and the ground is pretty the terrain is pretty detailed as well like it's not just like a flat area and there's probably there's plenty of like rock formations we can see there's one right there and there's a bunch of other stuff that you can see there's some spires sticking up out of the ground and then we also have some creatures in here so we have the blood crawlers uh we already saw the warper he teleported in my face and then i believe yep there's river prowlers in this part of the Lost River. Lost River? In this part of the void as well. There's also some resources that you can discover in these parts of the void. So here we have some nickel deposits. I believe, I believe there's some nickel deposits. We got the, I'm bumping into stuff. We got some ghost weed seeds right here. I got some deep shrooms for some nice biofuel. Uh, I believe there's shale outcrops here as well. There are multiple other biomes though. So we are going to go and look at all those right after this one. Yeah, this seems to be the edge right here. I also like how the main source of light in this area are the um, anchors. I was about to say bulbs. What the heck? All right, so we are now in the next void biome that this mod adds to the game and i believe this one is called the void mountains now there's a reason i think this one's called the void mountains and it's because of all these giant rock formations we can see all over the place so we have all the giant rock formations that are found all throughout this little area of the void which all look pretty awesome and then we also have the presence of a i don't know where he went there's also a Reaper Leviathan in this part of the void, so there's also that. Okay, so there's Reaper Leviathans, Blood Crawlers, and now we see there are Warpers in this part of the biome, or in this part of the void. What? What am I just saying? And as we can also see, this mod also brings in Diamond Deposits into Subnautica 1, because as we know, Subnautica, in below zero, that's when you can find these Diamond Deposits, but you can't find them in Subnautica 1, because I think they got, they got scrapped from this game. They were going to put them in, and they just decided not to. And they almost give me like a Crag Field type of vibe, almost sort of kind of a little because it's like super rocky all the way over here and it's just like in the in the crag fields the bottom's also extremely rocky with a whole bunch of stuff sticking about the ground just like it is here so that's kind of the vibes i'm getting we got some flat areas over here nice little spot to build a base more diamond deposits i think that's everything for this part of the void as well all right so here we are in the next void bomb that this mod adds into the game already we can see there is a sandstone outcrop on the ground so that's a resource that you can find here but i can also tell that this biome is extremely, you know, like flat, sort of like the dunes is. That's instantly the vibes I'm getting. So I'm going to assume that this biome is the barren fields. We got some rock formations right here. Shale outcrops. I think I saw some warpers. Okay, we got blood crawlers again. Uh, I think I saw a warper somewhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's crab squids here. All right, that's new. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so I really hope that I'm right. If the mod creator is watching this video, please, please tell me if I'm right when I guess this. So this part, I'm assuming, is the barren fields considering the way it looks and whatnot okay there is a warper over there and then this over here i'm gonna assume is the cyan grove considering these the color of these plants right here and then we have this over here and that this area sort of gives off how did the mod creator do this in the game i want to know I, i'm morbidly curious this looks awesome what the heck i'm gonna put my money on this being the cyan grove but I'm, what are these effects these look awesome i don't know i ain't never seen these in the game okay now the effects are gone so they just come and go i guess that was that was Super awesome to look at. I want to see that again, hopefully. We got a crab squid right here. Oh my gosh, they're coming back. The effects are back. Shiny lights. I think the cyan grove might be my favorite, my favorite um bomb that this mod adds into the game. This is awesome looking. Oh my gosh, I have to, I have to go back and build a base in this spot right here. This is freaking beautiful, man. Let's explore the barren fields. So we saw a warper. He already he just teleported away from me. There was also some blood crawlers here. Yeah, the barren fields, it was no joke. And it's absolutely barren here. Oh, okay, it looks like we're transitioning into a different biome now because this is like sort of grassy. Okay, we got some much bigger spires here. Is this still a part of the... Okay, so we got some blighters, still blood crawlers. Is this all a part of the same... Because it says there's two barren fields, so I guess that's one of them over there. The one that we were just in, and then I guess this is the second one. Because it's still sort of barren here. we got these giant spires. They look awesome. 
I would find a way to build a base around those. I really like the way this grass looks too, and the floor. Oh my gosh, the sea floor looks cool. So we have a Reaper Leviathan skeleton right here. I also kind of like how it's sort of like illuminated by all these plants right here. So what I'm looking at right now, I'm assuming is going to be the Kyanite Reef. I'm gonna 100% put my money on this being the Kyanite Reef because of all the, you know, Kyanite deposits that we can see right here. There's a bunch of large Kyanite deposits. One right there, one right there, one right there, right there, right there, there and there there and there and there are ampules here we haven't seen them yet in the void so now this bomb introduces the ampules into the void so that's cool sort of looks like a horn protruding up out of the ground looks pretty awesome and there's a kyanite thingy at the very top it would have been even cooler if i don't even i don't know if you can like influence the way that kyanite the kyanite deposit spawn but it would have been like even more awesome the um kyanite deposit at the very top and then had this be like blue that would have been that would have been awesome other than that i think that's about all the mod adds into the game it really enhances the void because it gives you a whole bunch of new areas to explore and these areas are also very detailed considering you know what the mod creator probably had to work with these areas are all nice size nice nicely detailed bunch of rocks it's not just like a whole like empty flat area you know it's got some nice little terrain nice terrain creatures that you know crawl around the biome and went crawl around the biome what did i just say creatures that you know roam around the biome and whatnot other than that that's about all i had for y'all and i think that's all this mod currently has to offer at the you know current moment but i believe the mod creator does have plans on expanding and making this mod even better than it already is thank y'all for watching and i will see y'all in the next one peace